I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. All right, here's the deal as America gets back to work. You want and need every possible advantage out there to succeed in the new economy. Smart companies run on NetSuite by Oracle, the world's number one cloud-based business system. So receive your free guide right now at netsuite.com slash school. Every sale is the same. Doesn't matter what you're selling, who you're selling it to, whether it's in person or over the phone, there are these certain core elements that must line up in the prospect's mind. Again, doesn't matter what you're selling or how you're selling it. It could be high ticket, low ticket, in person, over the phone, tangible, intangible, does not matter. These elements must line up in the prospect's mind. Now, there are three, three core elements that must always line up. If one of them is missing, you're not gonna close. If all three are lined up, you have an excellent shot of closing. Now, in total, there are five elements. What are the other two about? Well, remember I said you have an excellent shot of closing them. Well, sometimes you might line up the first three elements, but you still don't close because there are two more. I want you to look at it like this. Human beings, we're, we're almost like super duper computers, our brains, and we're just like the smartest computer you could ever imagine, right? And the way our computer works is it's almost like, imagine the way a safe cracker goes about cracking a safe, right? Some safes, some combination likes, like the ones that we have when we were in public school and gym, like a three combination simple master lock, three numbers. Pretty easy to crack that type of combination lock. Get all three numbers right, boom. The safe will open, the combination lock snaps open, right? But what happens if you go to a safe and you're trying to crack that and you get the first three numbers and you know they're right because you could hear that click, you're an expert safe cracker, right? What happens if the safe doesn't open? You pull down, up, it's uncrackable? No, guess what? Some safes have five numbers. Those the more difficult safes to open, realize that three numbers might not be enough for the expert safe cracker, so they make sure there are more numbers. Human beings are the same way. Imagine buying is open, like opening the combination lock on a safe. When the prospect says yes, boom, and they buy, you crack the code. When they say no, well, let me think about it. It's like you tried to pull on the lock and it didn't open. We have the straight line here, right? And the straight line basically represents the perfect sale. This is your open. This is your close, right? You're open here where you first pick up the phone, speak to them that first word out of your mouth, and then the close is when they say, okay, yeah, let's do it, right? This is your open, that's your close, right? And every once in a while, you get one of those perfect Lay down sales where everything you say, everything you do, everything you show the prospect, they're like, yes, oh my God, wow, that sounds great. Yeah, that makes sense. Everything you say, there's no questions, no objections, no concerns, all the way from the open to the close. And when you ask for the order for the first time, they say, great, here's my credit card, let's do it. We all love those, right? In straight line parlance, we call that a perfect lay down sale. It's almost as if the prospect was pre-closed before you even entered the encounter. That's a laid down sale. And it will be great if most of our sales were like that, but they're very few and far between. What typically happens is that your prospect tries to take you off the straight line. They have questions, they have concerns, they interrupt you, they cut you off, they have objections, right? So you have these boundaries here above, and below the line. When you are inside these boundaries, here and here, you are in control of the sale. That's you being in control of the sale. When you flow outside the boundaries and you go out of control up here to Pluto, or down here to your anus, not a very good place to be, 
I have great handwriting, right? This is probably my best handwriting, by the way. Your anus, right? Not good places to be. So what that really means is when you've lost control of the sale and now you're being more reactive versus proactive. In other words, we must maintain control of the encounter. And I'll get to that in the next lesson we do together here when we move into unconscious communication and show you how we do that. But the idea here is that we take control of the sale. That will be the next session, right? So assume you just had to do that. You take control, right? And once you have control, you can now follow a certain pathway. You know that you could say what you want first because the client is listening and playing along. You're asking questions, they're answering. You're making a presentation, you're saying, does that make sense? They're like, yes, you're in control. Versus if the prospect is in control and you're like on your heels and you're getting objection and they're interrupting you, well, guess what? You're spiraling off to Pluto up here talking about the price of tea in China or down here talking about politics in America, God forbid, or COVID virus. You end up talking about things that are not germane to the actual sale. So when you are in these boundaries in here, you're talking about things, you're actually making headway and talking about things that are relevant and germane to filling a certain need this prospect has, depending on what you're selling. Remember, when you sell, what are you doing? You're filling someone's need. You're eliminating a pain point of some sort. To understand what's really happening, big picture here, this is essentially the graphic of what an encounter looks like. We call this goal-oriented communication. That's what sales is, is goal-oriented communication. Why? Because you're talking to someone and you have a specific outcome, a goal in mind. It's not a random conversation like you're having with your friends or your wife or your husband or your partner or your parents. It's, it, it's very different. So there's certain rules that we must follow when we're trying to speak in goal-oriented situations and they're very different than when we speak to our friends and our loved ones and our acquaintances. So what the straight line is, it's essentially your playbook, your rule book, your guide, your blueprint for closing a goal-oriented communication encounter in your specific industry. That's what's going on and it starts right here at the beginning.